Coming up, let's meet CND's Managing Director Earn Media, Julie Yamamoto, and learn about influencer marketing and how bloggers can demonstrate ROI to brands. You're watching YBL TV. We want to do a campaign. We want to work with a brand and make sure that our partnership with them is as profitable and mutually beneficial as possible. Tell us about key metrics, analytics. What are they? Why are they so important? Where do we begin? That's a great question. And metrics and analytics are these terms that are bandied about as if everyone understands what they mean. And really, metrics and analytics mean the data that shows marketing performance. You get to, as a blogger, determine what that data is, what it is from your community that really demonstrates value. And I'm here today talking about that because I really believe bloggers need to get sophisticated in that area and start to understand what metrics are important for their communities and how to express that to brands through items like impressions, reach, engagement. Impressions really just means opportunity to view content. Reach means individual social media accounts or individual people who actually saw it. It was on the glass when they were browsing Facebook, for example. Mm -hmm. And engagement is really the actions that people take on content. So that's a retweet, a click, a comment. Engagement is so important to marketers because it means people were motivated to do something about it. And how about that sentiment issue? What's that all about? Sentiment is really important to marketers because they want to know, do people react positively, negatively to this content? If it was negative, let's get some feedback from that. If it was positive, let's tell that success story. So it's important for bloggers to be able to communicate this was positive or negative. All right, we've got a lot of clicks, don't we? <laughs> Click-throughs, click rates, click-through rates. They can be complicated to understand. Can you clarify? Sure, a click rate is just a way that a blogger can express engagement, an action that someone took on the content to click on a link that was recommended. So click rate would just be that initial click, someone took that action. Click through rate generally means a second click. For example, reading a product review on a blog, mm -hmm. that's the first click. Mm -hmm. And then clicking through to a brand site from the product review, that's the click through rate. That's also very important to marketers because it means the person who read this product review wanted to read more, wanted to come to my company site. Mm -hmm. How about the trends that are going on? What do you see in the industry? We've got video obviously, but but tell us about that a little bit more in detail and, and any other trends that you see. I would say Pinterest is a pretty big trend in terms of monetizing blogs right now. And in fact, there is a Pinterest monetization session here at the conference uh, this week. And so we're seeing a lot of brands invite bloggers to be guest pinners on their Pinterest accounts, uh, to curate content, and then to encourage their community to repin and reshare that. All right, you've got the tools that can count the algorithms, the analytics. What are some of them that you've mentioned here at the uh, conference today? Bloggers really need to stay within the set of generally accepted tools by marketers. And these are tools that we've heard about. Google Analytics, Facebook Insights is a great tool for impressions and reach on your Facebook content. Look at a really good Twitter tool like TweetReach. Why is it so important for us to know what we're looking at in terms of our sales funnel. Bloggers need to understand where they fit in the sales funnel. And the sales funnel is simply all of the psychological, emotional steps that people go through before they decide to purchase something or before they decide to commit to a course of action. So it starts with awareness, just learning about something that I might like or that I might like to purchase. Mm -hmm. Then consideration, maybe I research a little bit more about that and my research tells me I'm interested. I really want to buy this or I really want to do this. And then preference. I've decided upon the brand or the product or the service or the course of action that I want to take. I prefer that and now I'm going to go do it. So if you really break that down, that's a whole lot of steps that brands and marketers have to go through before they get someone to commit to what they have to offer. And bloggers are a part of that process. Final words of wisdom for social media. Anyone out there? 
I think it's really important for content creators to understand what works for their communities, what their communities find of value, and what they respond positively to, and then partner with brands to offer more of that value to their community.